Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's math problem of the day says Avery and Ben both go to the same bakery. Avery buys four brownies and three cupcakes for $15. Ben buys five brownies and six cupcakes for $25.50. How much does a brownie and a cupcake each cost? This is a systems of equations problem and I love systems of equations. They take real world scenarios and turn them into algebra. So I'm gonna show you how you can literally take this second sentence of our word problem and make it into an equation. So literally I'm gonna take what they gave us for brownies and I'm gonna turn that into like a math equation. So instead of four brownies, I'm gonna write four B. So it says every buys four brownies and three cupcakes. So that's gonna be and three cupcakes, three C. You see, I just abbreviated brownies with B and I abbreviated cupcakes with C. And it says that that costs $15. Now we can see this sentence has been turned into an equation very easily. Four brownies plus three cupcakes equals $15. It seems like common sense when somebody explains it, right? Now let's do the same thing, but except with this next sentence. It says Ben buys five brownies and six cupcakes for $25.50. Okay, so we got five brownies and six cupcakes, and that was $25.50. Again, after you hear it explained clearly, it doesn't feel as bad. Five brownies and six cupcakes equals $25.50. Now, to answer the question, it says, how much does a brownie and a cupcake each cost? Well, I have different options for solving a problem like this. I could use the substitution method, the elimination method. There's other methods we could use also. Well, I like the substitution method, so that's what I'm gonna use. So literally, I'm gonna choose any of these four variables that we have up on the screen. We have the B from the 4B, we got the C from the 3C, we got a 5B, we got a B from this 5B, and we got a C from this 6C. Well, to solve for a variable literally means make the variable on one side of the equal sign and the rest of the problem on the other side. So I'm just gonna randomly choose one and I'm gonna choose this C right here. So subtract 4B, subtract 4B, get rid of this. I have 3C equals 15 minus 4B, okay? Divide by three, divide by three, get rid of this. We have C equals, what's 15 divided by three? Five. And then over here, the four divided by three can't really be simplified, so I'm just gonna leave that as a fraction. And then we have B. Now, I'm gonna take this value that I just calculated for C and plug it into the new problem. So what I'm gonna do is rewrite this problem, but instead of writing C, I'm gonna write what I just calculated C to equal, which is the five minus four thirds B. So that means I have five B plus six. I'm gonna put parentheses to make it clear. I have five minus four, three B equals 25.5 and then I can just drop this zero. I don't have to keep it. It's got the same value with it or without it. Now I'm gonna continue considering order of operations and solve the rest of this problem as much as I can. So that means I'm gonna start by distributing this six throughout the parentheses. So that means the six gets multiplied by the five and then it gets multiplied by the four thirds. So it's five B plus 30 minus 24 over three B equals 25.5, 24 over three equals eight. So this is five B plus 30 minus eight B equals 25.5. Now I can simplify terms and I can see I got a five B and I got a minus eight B. So that equals minus three B plus 30 equals 25.5. Now I can subtract this 30 from both sides. Get rid of that. I got minus three B equals negative 4.5. Now I divide by negative three on both sides and I'm left with B equals 1.5. So B, remember we use B to be the variable for the brownies. So this is telling me that the brownies cost $1.50. Yay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the brownie value into one of the original equations that I created. I think I'm gonna use the 4B plus 3C equals 15 equation because there's no decimal to deal with. If I were to use the other one, I would have to deal with that decimal and I'd rather make my work as easy as possible. I already have one decimal, so maybe that'll help me out a little bit. I don't know. It may not. Sometimes I just try to look to see which problem looks a little easier to deal with, but there's really no right or wrong. You're gonna get the correct answer either way. So I'm rewriting the problem for, but instead of writing B, I'm gonna write what I just calculated B to equal, which is 1.5. 
plus the 3c equals 15. Now I'm gonna multiply the four times the 1.5 and I'm gonna get six plus 3c equals 15. Now subtract by six on both sides and I'm left with 3c equals nine. Then I divide by three on both sides because I'm trying to get that C by itself and I get C equals three. So what does that mean as far as the cupcakes go? It means the cupcakes cost three dollars. So we figured out the value of both items from our word problem. The brownies cost a dollar fifty cents and the cupcakes cost three dollars. So that is the answer to today's math problem of the day. Here's tomorrow's math problem of the day. See if you can solve it before I do, but don't forget to head over to Super Easy Math, click on math videos, and you can get access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.